What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. In today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. Now I did plan on uh, showing you guys how I take care of filter socks, hence the table full of them here. It's a little dark, but I was going to show you guys the whole process for those of you who are using filter socks and kind of give that video an update that's already on the channel. But unfortunately I woke up to a dead XR15 and uh, we're going to go through the whole process of troubleshooting this. Now it is a blinking red light which usually indicates a hardware failure or something like that. Now I've already talked to Ecotech and uh, they want me to send it out to them but I want to go through one more process here to see if it might help. Since it's not the power supply, they had me swap the power supply around with another XR15. It, uh, it, the light actually kicked on for about 20 seconds and then it turned off. It flickered a little bit and then turned off. And then the light that had the original power supply is working with no problem. So it's not the power supply. And uh, I also updated the WXM module. And again, the light kicked on for about 20 seconds and then turned off. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I reset these through the Ecotech Smart Live, whatever. It's on my laptop. We're going to connect it to this XR15, reset it. Uh, do some updates on it and hopefully that will allow me to connect it to the WXM and fix the problem. If not, then I'm going to have them send me another one since it is within the two-year warranty. I believe that's what's on it. But it's been under two years and they'll have to you know, send me another one. I'll send this one back out and they'll tell me eventually what was wrong with it. But uh, if actually, if you guys have been following me on Instagram three weeks ago, I had to replace the far left XR15 for a different issue. It actually completely died, regardless of power supply, uh, no lighting, no nothing, just completely dead. I still haven't checked in to see what the reasoning behind that was, but uh, yeah, so that's two XR15s in the last month or so, and I do, again, have eight of these on the system, and, it, and uh, I don't really know why it's happening. There are two different issues, so it is what it is. I mean, stuff happens. It's just kind of how how equipment is. Um, if it's going to fail, it's eventually going to fail. That's basically basically how I look at it. Now, um, the tank itself is a little pissed off. I'll talk about that um, in a later video this week. I'm having some issues because I let my nitrates and phosphates completely plummet, but uh, we'll save that for another video. Today, we're going to focus on the XR15 and hopefully I can get the filter sock video out uh, tomorrow. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the laptop hooked up. I'm going to put it on my little stool that I have here. You probably can't see. There we go. We're going to put it on the stool so that the uh, USB cable will reach. We'll plug it in. We'll load everything up, and I'll see if it works. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I have the laptop up and running. It only took about 10 minutes for it to turn on. It's just a really old laptop that I use strictly for the XR15s. That's the whole purpose in life is to take care of them. So it's on my uh, stool here that I use to do maintenance. You guys can see the USB cable, it's going to be blue, it is up into the light, plugged in there. I didn't bother taking it down just because I didn't think it was really worth it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I'll go through the whole process of removing it. Now, I'm simply going to go in here and uh, we're going to reset or at least attempt to. So at the bottom here, we have uh, the taskbar. You should be able to see just the camera. This is definitely not uh, the prettiest thing. So right here, we have the check mark next to the EcoSmart Live. I'm going to right click on it. See, it says a Radeon is connected, so let's go ahead and click on USB, and we're going to go to factory reset. Now, this will just take care of everything. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you sure you want to do reset? Yep. And we'll see if it does. Okay, now, the good thing is, is it actually turned the light on. It turned it off. It went full blast, and then it just turned off. So, it's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. The good thing is that it did reset, but the fact that it turned off already is not. So... What I'm going to do is try to do an update through this and see if that works. Um, I doubt it's going to, given the fact that it already turned off. So oop. let's try that reset one more time. All right. So Radeon still connected. We're going to do factory reset again. Let's see if we can get the light to turn on. So the light just came on. See how long it takes for it to turn off so it should be at 100 percent and it is and then it just turned off so definitely think it's a hardware problem now that it's turning off usually what it'll do is it will um turn on and stay at 100 percent and then once i connect it to the wxm and then it will allow me to do the programming but i'm going to head over to the computer and try to connect it to the wxm just to see if maybe there's a glitch somewhere just so i cover all my bases but yet yeah, it looks like that this uh xr15 shot for whatever reason we're going to go ahead and contact them after we get done with the video. But first, let me get over and try to um, reconnect it with the WXM, and I'll give you guys an update before we end the video. 
All right, guys, so a quick update before I let you go. I was able to successfully connect it to the WXM basically because it was factory reset. I was able to find it in the Apex, have it connected, and then bring the bar down to all the other ones. Now, once I turned it on, the light did turn on for about 10 seconds. Once it got to 100%, it shut off. So it's still blinking red. Um, it's not the power supply, so I think it's definitely a hardware issue. Now, it's definitely a different problem than what I had with the other XR15, completely different considering that one was totally dead, but it's still the fact that I have two of them kind of taking a crap in the last 30 days. It's a little disappointing. And just to answer the question now, no, I will not be getting rid of the XR15s or going to a different light. Um, I really like them and how they grow. When they do work, they work really well. And having a little issue like this or having something like this happen, it is what it is. It's part of the, just having equipment, having the hobby. We already know it's an expensive hobby, and sometimes expensive equipment dies. It's just, it is what it is. So hopefully my uh, uh, skimmer doesn't die, that Quantum 300. So as long as that keeps rocking, I'm, I'm happy. I don't have to buy another one of those. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and contact Ecotech. Get, since this isn't warranty, they'll go ahead and send out another one. It'll be here within a couple days. I believe they are located within Pennsylvania, and I usually get it the following day. I know that I got the other XR15 the very next day and plugged it in. It was good to go. So hopefully uh, they'll do the same thing. I'll send this one out, and they can let me know exactly what was going on with it. But uh, other than that, that's just kind of one of the things that happen. Equipment dies. You just got to, you know deal with it when it comes up but uh yeah so that's about it for this video sorry it's not exactly the topic that i wanted to cover but i wanted to at least show you guys uh, some of the downsides of the hobby and this is just one of them equipment fails it is what it is and uh you know we're just going to move on and focus on the good stuff so i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully we get the filter sock video out i do have some other stuff going on within the tank i'll show you guys that we'll uh do the frag tank build you guys can finally see that and that's probably going to be it for the week so until next time i'll see you guys later Peace.